Effective Academic Writing Unit 1 The Sentence and the Paragraph Unit 1 The Sentence and the Paragraph After completing Unit 1, students will be able to Identify different types of writings and paragraphs Recognize the formatting elements of a paragraph Distinguish between topic, supporting, and concluding sentences Identify the topic and controlling idea in a topic sentence. Evaluate unity and coherence in a paragraph. Recognize subject and verb in a sentence. Apply rules of punctuation. Correct fragments and run-on sentences. Exercise 1. Look at each picture on page 2. Exercise 1. Page 2. Answer the following questions. Number 1. What kind of writing is each person doing? Number two, are they writing for others or for themselves? What kind of writing is each person doing? Are they writing for others or for themselves? Exercise one, page two. Let's take a look at this picture. We see a teacher and a student. The student is writing and the teacher is helping the student and giving him some advice from what we can see. It could be a test, could be some schoolwork, could be an assignment or an exam. So what do you think? He's writing for others. Let's take a look at another picture. In this picture we see a shopping list. Listed are vegetables such as cabbage, carrots, onions, tomatoes, cucumbers and potatoes. Clearly this is a shopping list. So what do you think? He's writing or she is writing for himself or herself. Let's take a look at another picture. Here we see a man on his laptop. He could be doing a lot of different things, such as email, chat, or internet search. So what do you think? He's writing for himself. Now let's take a look at another picture. We see a man who appears to be taking notes, work writing, a, you know, creating an agenda, working on a calendar or appointments. So what do you think? He's writing for others. Let's take a look at some key ideas to remember. Notes to family members, journal entries, checks, bills, homework, job applications, and holiday cards and birthday cards are other kinds of writing that you may usually do. And it could be other kinds of writing that you can think of. There are five types of paragraphs practiced in this book. In a descriptive paragraph, the writer describes a person, a place, or a thing. In an example paragraph, the writer explains a topic by giving examples. In a process paragraph, the writer explains how to do something step by step. In an opinion paragraph, the writer expresses his or her feelings, ideas, and opinions about a topic. And in a narrative paragraph, the writer tells a story.